It's revival time again from the Deeper Life Bible Church. Healing and health, deliverance and dominion are the children's bread. And if you are not yet a child of God through the new birth, you can become one and get healed and delivered as you listen to these exciting testimonies, powerful preaching, and partake in the prayer session that cannot be overlooked in the cuts of heaven. You will never be the same again. Happy listening and God bless you. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Okay, hallelujah. I glorify the name of the Lord for making it possible for me this evening to come and testify to the goodness of God in my life. My name is Sister Taiwo Ogumba Anwo. I live at number 3 Oladipo Shode Street, Ilupeju Zone. My testimony goes like the first I will testify of all how the Lord saved me. Formerly, I knew the Lord in the year 1986. Then, my when I was in the world, I live a life that people in the world can live. Then, I can spend any money on bleaching cream. I, ad I advertised beer and did calendars. And my ears, I have three holes filled with earring. Name it, anything. But I thank the Lord for how the Lord has saved me and made me to come out of that type of life. And the Lord that has done it for me, we do it for as many as are looking for this same salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. My testimonies goes like this. I have been married since the year 1983. Even though they said I cannot have a child, they said snakes have, has removed my womb, that I cannot have a child. But today I glorify the name of the Lord. Because when I see people here coming to testify, I say, God, let's make it possible for me to come and stand on, that, on this pulpit to testify and carry my own child with my two hands. So, they, they, they said I cannot have a child. When I, the first, the first three months I started coming to this church, I was able to conceive. After three months, 1986, even though I lost the child, and my husband saw the child and said, glory be to God, that you did not conceive anything abnormal. Survive the child, that God that has done this for you will give you a living one. So I conceived. Many days they told me I should go to Abalis when this, uh, this child I was carrying was in the womb. They said, ah, this, uh, you know how many pregnancies we have lost now? Is it in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name you want to continue with? I said, God that has helped me up to this stage, we surely do it and has been doing it for others. So when the pregnancy was eight and a half months, somebody said I should go to the Abalis. That's because of my delivery day, maybe you can use something for me. I just laughed. I didn't say anything. I continued. So when I wanted to deliver this child, I went to the hospital where I registered the medical hospital. They said they are going to perform operation on me. I said I'm not going to take, I'm not going to undergo any operation. Because all the people that conceive in the Bible, the Bible never told me that they went through any operation before they got their child. So I told them to discharge me. They, they thought it was a play. I didn't, they, so I had just asked them to discharge me on that day that my husband should carry me down to faith maternity home here. So when I got there, they, they, they tested me. I started laboring, laboring. So this baby couldn't come out. So they prayed. The sisters there, they joined hands together and prayed. In short, to cut the story short, the baby came out at last. And today I'm carrying a living child, Victor. Praise the Lord. And the God that has helped me up to this stage will give me the abundant grace to continue to serve Him unto the end in Jesus' name. Yeah. Okay, hallelujah. The Lord. Ara bini wan jeri, gebi olon te shi ya nuna ye wan. Wan so ikpe la koko a wan je ele she para kutele. Wan si wala ti ye kun ilu pe ju. Wan jo chele ni pe titi di. But I want to let Bayon ninety three, ninety eighty six. One year, let's say once I pay a shaker to a poor Buru, could sell a chapel, I want lower sea, Becca Buyonica, Shepinica, Waikamironi, 
won le fun so pe awon lu ihe ti won to be ege ti e pe iho meta ni awon da si e ti won nigba to e pe awon si gbe ni gba aye ese pe ki a ma ta oti ati awon iwa eri be ati iwa igbin be o kunu aye won lopo lopo sugbon ni paro ofi olorun ni 1986 ni won wa to si je pe won gbo oro olorun ni paro ofi olorun won do wa aye won won fi aye won fun christi sugbon se aja koko lati 1983 to e pe won ti se igbe yawo ni won ti woju olorun fun omo o ti awon eyan si so fun won ni pe ejo kan wa to e pe wa ni won fe ko lomo won nu te pe ko le je ki won loyun sugbon arabirin ni kan bi osu meta te ko da po mo ejo yi to si je pe ojo wa ire fun oluwa o loyun bo tle je pe o bi omo ni akoko na sugbon mo na se alaisi ai oko re wa so fun pe ko si ohun ko te ko soro fun olorun ti ko le se ni won gba te pe o fi le bi omo alaye mo mo da ji pe olorun yo se le te pe yo duro a di pe olorun lopo lopo pe ni gba to ya arabirin tun loyun bi won se loyun won so pe awon te si waju won si ngbo oro olorun bo tle je pe opolopo ayan lo wa lati ri pe won yi won lokan pada pe ki won le pada kuro leyin jesu sugbon won mu iduro won won oboju eyin ni pa ore ofe olorun ni gba to ya won loyun ni nkan bi odun ti o koja a si dupe olorun lopo lopo pe bi won ti loyun yi ohun ti o sele ni pe won lo si ile igbebi ile te pe awon onisegun se ni eni awon doki ti dokita ti elede oyibo ni gba ti won di awon so fun pe o la oro ibi mo won lati la ise abe sise sugbon ni paro ofe olorun won so pe awon oni gba pe keni keni bi omo jade ni won tori pe kini lati nu bibeli ko se ni ken te pe o loyun to bi mo to si je pe a sise abe fun ni gba ti o ya won so fun pe awon fe wa si e ile igbebi ti ijo wa nihi won wa si bi ni paro ofe olorun wa gbadura fun won awon arabirin fo so wo po won gbadura pelu igbagbo ni gba ti o se omo na jade won si bi omo na ni irorun lai si wa lati idamu oruko mo na nje segun ogun ba nwo won dupe olorun fun ti olorun ti olorun ti se nu aye won o to tle sele ni pe bo je pe bo tle je pa nkan ti so won ti fe so ire tinu tele sugbon won dupe lo olorun pe olorun se nu aye won won si fi to awa na le ti pe ohun ko te ko le je isoro ti wa iba je ti igbala ni tabi awon ai ni to e pe o je ti odi ara bi pe olorun yo ba pade ni achale ni oruko jesu let us pray e je ki agbadura Heavenly Father, we thank you because of the revival hour we have today. We thank you for the mighty hand of yours that has been working with us every time. We thank you for the testimonies of the people that have benefited from you as they stood upon your promises, claiming those promises and praying in faith. We are praying today that your mighty hand will manifest itself wonderfully in our midst in Jesus' name. You have never failed anyone that trusts in you. And we know you will never fail. And you are not going to fail us. Therefore, Lord, our eyes are looking upon you that our lives will be better and happier as we trust in you in Jesus name we thank you because we know you have answered in Jesus name we pray we thank the Lord who has brought us in here tonight. Our eyes are upon the Lord and his promises will never fail. What he has done in the past convinces us of what he is still able to do now. There are many people that can testify about the goodness of God. And we thank the Lord for the people that know the Lord for the people whose goodness uh, the goodness of the Lord has been upon their lives. And we thank God for the people that have the voice of praise, praising the name of the Lord, testifying to the goodness of His name. Tonight I want to talk to you on better life for every man. Better life. For every man. Perhaps you know about better life for the rural women. Perhaps you know about better life for professional people. Perhaps you know about the plan for better life through workers' unions. All these 
false attempts by good-natured people and by various agencies promise something natural. Many governments all over the world are planning that in a few years' time they'll be able to supply water to everybody in the nation to which they belong, uh, making life better for the people. Other people are trying to provide education, universal education, for almost everyone in their nation by a particular year, a particular time, thinking if education becomes universal and becomes something that everybody benefits from, there will be a better kind of living for everyone in society. Other people are planning how everyone in a, in a particular nation will have the means for keeping healthy, enough hospital, enough clinic, enough dispensaries, all in attempt to have better life for the people living in their nation. Other agencies are thinking about housing for everyone by a particular year, thinking if we have water, if we have education, if we have health, if we have housing with all basic necessities, there will be better life for everyone. Other people think if we have communication that can reach the cities, the towns, the villages, rural areas, there will be better life for everybody. Other people are Naturally, we cannot have better life without the Creator of all creatures. All these wonderful plans that many good natured people are trying to have, and all the promises they are giving, they are always all the time for the future, not for the present. All these things that people are talking about in providing better kind of living, better way of living for everybody in society, they may look good, but they are insufficient. As long as human beings are who they are, there will, be, there will never be the possibility of having a happier, better life without the help of God. As long as there is a tormenting devil in the world, in this world of dark and sinful action, of wickedness, sin and oppression, there cannot be a better, happier life until Christ comes in to take over and give us the richer life, the higher life, the better life. Without faith in God, better life will be an unrealized dream. Do you know a person can be rich and at the same time unhappy? Do you know a person can be prospered and wealthy and have children and yet live an uncertain life full of fear? Do you know a person can be a soul rich that he has all that money could buy 
and yet is guilt ridden and oppressed in his heart and life. The person can be highly educated, soundly healthy, and also very well known and yet live a miserably misdirected life. When you think about Abraham, Abraham was rich and even richer than some kings around him. And yet he had a problem within the family that made him so unhappy every time. If money alone were to make somebody happy, Abraham would have been happy. But he wasn't happy because there was no child to be able to inherit all the riches and wealth that he had in possession. If multiple wives and many children will make somebody happy, Jacob had more than one wife, and he had many children, but then his life was uncertain, hanging in the balance. He was living in fear day and night because there was an enemy that he could never overcome. Zacchaeus had money. Anything money could buy, he could buy. But then there was so much guilt and sorrow and shame upon his life that he was not leading a happy life, a good life, even though he had everything that a man could wish for, a man could desire. Saul of Tarsus was educated. We do not see him to be an invalid, a sick person. He was popular, famous, well known. But looking at his life and the confession he made later in life, he had been miserably misdirected. We thank God for what human beings are trying to do to make the life of man on earth better. But men can only try. Only God can truly give a better life. Only God can make your life better through Jesus Christ. He is the creator and the rebuilder of broken, battered lives. Whatever your life may be today, whatever oppression you may be going through today, whatever sorrow and heartache you may be experiencing, whatever regrets and remorse apply, whatever defeat or downfall, you might even be giving up thinking there is no hope. In your heart there is guilt and condemnation. In the family there is turbulence and there is violence. In the place of work there is disappointment and there is downfall. Among friends you do not trust anyone. You might have been driven to the wall. And you are thinking that nothing in life could make your life richer and better and happier. But remember, God is the creator. The rebuilder of broken, battered lives. The one that resuscitates and resurrects even the people that are dead. The one that brings everything out of nothing. The one that can turn the direction of your life and make you a happy fellow all through your lifetime. 
the one that can bring a shining light a burning light into the darkness of your life the one that can take all your tears and turn it into a well of joy and laughter God the creator God the rebuilder God the restorer God the one that can make a new turn in your life there are many people in the Bible that I can use to illustrate to you what God can do. There are many people I can point your attention to. The people that could say, were it not for God in their lives, their lives would have been miserable to the very end of their lives. But the moment God came in, a change came in as well. Provided you can trust in God. Provided you can have faith in God. He can come into that life of yours and give you a happier, better life. If you believe in God, you know that with God all things are possible. Only you need to have faith in God through the Lord Jesus Christ. In 1 Chronicles chapter 4. First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren and his mother called his name Jabez saying because I bear him with sorrow but then in verse 10 Jabez sought a change he wanted a change and he got the change let us look at verse 10 and Jabez called on the God of Israel he called on the God of Israel. There were kings in Israel. There were princes in Israel. There were rich people in Israel. There were old patriarchs in Israel. There were people that people, others could say, I will lean upon them. I will depend upon them. I will trust up, I will trust in them. They were in Israel. But Jabez, instead of looking up to man, he looked up unto God and he called upon the God of Israel. Saying, O oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my cause, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it might not grieve me, and God granted him what he requested. The Bible gives us testimony that God is the one that traces the poor out of the door. What does that mean? He takes the broken, battered life and he makes it a better life. The Bible gives us the testimony that he lifts up the beggar from the donkey hill. To set them among princes. And to make them inherit the throne of glory. And Jabez realized this. He called upon the God of Israel. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. He knew it is the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Money often comes into our lives with sorrow. If money comes alone without God accompanying that money, if money comes alone without faith in God accompanying that money, if money comes alone without good morals and trust in God accompanying that money, money comes with sorrow. If friends come into our lives without God coming with them, 
if friends come into our lives without facing God coming along with them, with those friends coming, more sorrow can come into our lives. Look at a young man. Promotion comes into his life, but God doesn't come into that life with the, that promotion. Promotion comes into his life. Envy and jealousy will also come against his life. Hatred of people will also come against his life. Many bad things may come with that promotion. Promotion alone, without God coming along into your life with that promotion, can bring sorrow and heartache. When a property comes into your life without God, accompany that property in security and fear may also come into your life. Don't look for money alone. Let God be in your life as well. Don't look for friends alone. Let God be in your life as well. Don't look for popularity and fame alone. Let God also come into your life. When it, even when all these good things of life, when they come into somebody's life without God accompany them, sorrow will come. For the blessing of the Lord and the blessing with the Lord is what added riches and blessing without any sorrow and at And Jabez prayed and said, Oh, that thou, thou alone, the mighty God of heaven, the rebuilder of broken, battered walls of life, will bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. God knows how to enlarge your coast without getting into the enemy territory. If you try to enlarge your coast yourself, you may get into a forbidden ground. You can get into a territory that is so forbidden, and the owners of that place will say that you are trespassing, and the powers unseen will be punishing you because you have enlarged your coast in their territory. Let God only enlarge the coast and don't get into trouble. And at their hand might be with me. And that thou wouldest keep me from evil. That it may not grieve me that is all the blessings you are giving me, all the good things I'm having will not be a grief unto my soul, unto my life. And God granted him that which he requested. You see, God is the one that can give us better life. Happier life. A life that will look at and will say, I praise the Lord, he made my life better and he put a new song in my mouth. And I said it is only God the creator through Jesus Christ our Savior who can do this for you and for me. Don't put your trust in princes. Don't put your trust in human beings. The best of human beings will disappoint you. They will promise heaven and earth. They will never give you a grain of sand. Please, turn the cassette over.
They will promise many, many things and tell you not to worry at all. They will make life better for you. They will make life richer for you. They will make life happier for you. And you will be more miserable depending upon them and trusting them. If you stop praying because somebody promised you, you will regret. So if you stop depending upon God because Mr. So and so, Mrs. So and so, or Chairman So and so promised you something, ah, Chairman will disappoint. It is only the promises of God that will never fail. In a Psalm 118, verse 8. The psalmist had experience concerning this. He knew that only God will make us better in life. And it is only in God that we can trust without fail. Psalm 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Don't you know man? As feeble and as unstable as water. Don't you know man? He says something now and tomorrow he has changed like the, like the weather and like the wind. Don't you know man? His breath is in his nostril. He himself does not know what the future will be for him. How can you trust in him and be happy in life? Don't you know man, if he's happy, he can promise you something, but his own life can change you. Unhappiness and sorrow can come into his life too. And all the promises he made when he was happy, now that he's sick and unhappy, he cannot fulfill anything. Don't you know man? The man who can be alive now and die tomorrow. But God, the ever living one. God, the all sufficient one. God, the one that will never disappoint. The God of Abraham. The God that will go with you to the valley and to the mountain top. The God that will be with you in the city and in the wilderness. The God of great compassion and great comfort and great love. The God who so much loved us and sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. The God, the father of the fatherless. The person that enriches the life of the poor people. The one that is no respect of persons. People say you are, you are ugly. He never thinks about ugliness. People say that you are poor. He never thinks of poverty. People say that you are not social. He never thinks about that. People are still counting offense against you, but when he forgives, he forgets because of Jesus Christ. When you don't have the possibility or the capacity of having any friend, Jesus Christ can be your friend. When even your mother and your father and the closest people to you or not have forsaken you, God will be very near unto you. Why are you relying upon the promises of men? They are promises are only holding as long as they are happy, as long as you are their slaves and their servants. But it is better to trust in the Lord. Better to trust in the 
a faithful God. In the compassionate, loving, unfailing God. And to put confidence in man. Verse 9. It, it, is, is, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. If you want a better life, trust in the Lord. If you need a happier life, trust in the Lord. Do you know that even the things we say we have in life, they are so insufficient and so unsatisfactory. Let's say it were possible for you to get the things of this world without God. Let us even say that all you think you want now, all you think you need now, that you can push God aside, you can push Bible aside, you can put Christ aside and have them. What will be the final picture? Let me show you in Isaiah chapter 28. Isaiah 28 verse 20. For the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it, and the covering narrower than that he can wrap himself in it. Have you tried on a dark, cold night to sleep upon a narrow, short bench with a kind of wrapper covering you that is not up to one quarter of the size of your body? How do you feel? You feel cold? You feel miserable? You feel unhappy? You feel insecure? That is all that you have in the world. That is what it will look like. O wa ti gbe yanju re ri ni akoku ogenitin ko sun lori ipatako kan toroto ko si mu aso ti oju bele pe kan lo ko fi bu ara re iru akoko yi wa ri ko wa ni ipo si ipo ibanuje be ni gbogbo nkan to ropo wo re ti te ninu aye bi o se bu won ni If you have anything in this world without God in it your bed will be shorter than you can stretch yourself on Ti o ba ni ohun kan to ropo ye ko ninu aye tolorun si ninu re akete re yo if you have all the material things, all the physical things that man can see, think about food, you say you have, accommodation, you say you have, wife, you say you have, all the other things you say you have, everything without God will be like a wrapper that is so narrow and you are trying to cover yourself and yet you cannot turn here and there, the thing cannot even cover you at all. When you have a narrow, short uh, piece of clothes like that and you are on a bed like that, that is not uh, able to take all your full strength, all your full length. You know what? All the mosquitoes, all the cockroaches, all the insects will be troubling you. The same thing. When you have the money, that one doesn't cover you away from the hand of the devil. And the hand of the devil is stronger and greater and more terrible than the little mosquitoes that cover, that a cover or surround the person that has no good wrapper. Nigba ti oba so pe gogo nkan to ni yi to si wa fi bora o da bi egba to wa lori akete ti ko gba o ati aso pe lebe to fi bora iru eniyan to wa ni ko be o ma ti o sele be fa se nje la yan ma yo lenu gogo awon e kokoro ni won ma yo lenu be ni o si ri papa nigba to ba so ko lowo ti o ko lo lorun esu owo re to lagbara ni to ju te fa tin je n to kan da so pe lebe bora be ni esu yo ma yo lenu iko to wa re o you need god for a covering o ni lo olorun lati da bobo you need the blood of Jesus for a covering. You need faith in Christ for a covering. Anything you have, whatever you may have, will never be sufficient except you have God and Christ with all the things you have. Without faith in Christ, there is nothing to envy in your life. Without Christ in your life, Life without faith in the Lord in your life, there is nothing that is happy in your life. Life is Christy. Life is by God. You know, Lord, you know, I hear. Because sin can't only echo my memory and you know, I hear. But when Christ comes in, life comes in. So when you got Christy by Wale, you know Wale. When Christ comes in, happiness comes in. When you got Christy by Wale, I know you Wale. It is when Christ comes in that life really begins. When you got Christy by Wale, God, I hear. I told you 
to in uh, John chapter 10 verse 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Oleki wa bi ko se lati jale ati lati pa ati lati parun emi wa kun wa ki o le ni ye ani kun wa ki o le ni loko loko. You see if you are living in an accommodation where there is no door. Ori to ba ngbe nu nu ile kan ti ko si ile ko. Where there is no gate. Ti ko si enu ona ba wole. Where there is no roof. Ni bi ti o si aja. In our human language we say you are living in an uncompleted building. And anybody that sees you will say, ah, pack out of that place immediately because uncompleted buildings are always visited by armed robbers in the night. Where there is no door. If Christ is not in your life, there is no gate in your life, there is no door in your life, there is no roof in your life, there is no, your life, there is no, there is no covering in your life, the thief will come, he will steal, he will kill, he will destroy. Therefore, we counsel you and I command you, come out of that uncompleted building and come under the covering and the shelter of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. It's only when you come to Christ will be happy in life. Before now you see all your sins are haunting you about. Guilty conscience will not allow you to rest. Darkness is overing over your life. Insecurity and uncertainty is plaguing you when you don't have Christ. You are being torn apart and you are fearful in this life because you don't have Christ. But when you repent and you raise up your heart and your hand unto the Almighty God, and you say, I have sinned. I have gone astray. There is no peace in my life. All the riches, all the property, all the things of life I have, they have come into my life with sorrow. Life is sad. Life is sorrowful. Life is miserable. But I want Christ. I need Christ. And as you embrace and believe Christ in your life and you give your life unto him, having faith on the Lord Jesus Christ, first of all, forgiveness will come. The peace of God will settle in your life. If you have a little to eat, you'll be peaceful. If you have little money to spend, you'll be peaceful. If you have a small, moderate family, you'll be peaceful. If the greatest property, the most conspicuous property you have is the Holy Bible, you'll be peaceful. If you have a When Christ has come into your life, the peace of God will come in. And that is the beginning of a better life. Can somebody live a good life without peace? Can somebody live a good life Good life with all the torment, all the condemnation, all the guilt, all the tearing apart, all the scourging of the conscience. Immediately Christ comes in, forgiveness also comes in. Because of Christ, all the sins you have ever committed, they are forgiven. Your guilty conscience is totally cleansed, and you are peace with God. You are reconciled with God. 
Then God gives you the grace to live a better life. That is, you live a better, moral, holy life. You have eternal life abiding in you. You have the salvation of the Lord within your heart. This is the beginning of a happy life, a better life. Look at John chapter 17 verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Then there is Christ. Do you know Christ? Oh, I'm a Christy, be. All men are dead without Christ. It is Christ that gives us life eternal. He comes from heaven and he gives us the life of God. And so, to have that life and to begin really to live, you must have Jesus Christ, the life in you. In John chapter 1 verse 4 in him was life and the life was the light of men how can we have this life by having faith in the Lord in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 I am crucified with Christ nevertheless I live I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. He had been living naturally before, but he said, All that I cannot count as life. It was a miserable existence, but now I am in union with Christ. Now I'm in association, relationship with Christ. Because of that, I lay. Oh, so we pray. Tell it, tell it. Moting be dia ye ni yon lasa. Tell it, rah rah. Ni tori na dia yusi. Dia ye tiko ni tu mani. Sukbani sisi moti wa ni ase kwa kwe lu Christi. Ati kame ma gbele bo Christi. Ni sisi mo wa wa ni mi ye. If you are not in union with Christ, your life will be a bundle of regrets. Si oko ba ni ase kwa kwe lu Christi. Dia ye re yo kufu o diwa ibanuje. What you did yesterday that made you happy yesterday, today as you look over it, it makes you sorrowful. On to se lana. What came into your life last week and you enjoyed it and you were laughing and you were happy right now? As you look back into it, you are regretting. You are regretting. The place you went last month and you were happy and dancing and rejoicing and saying I'm on top of the world. Right now, as you look back at that thing that you did last month that gave you joy then, you are regretting about it. Ibiti o lo ni osu to koja to nyo se se ti nu renu to npo to ri efe ko giri ti nu endo to ba wa boju won si ibanu ja wa kun okan re I'm telling you that if you do not have Christ in your life all your life the totality of your life is a bundle of regret O si mo wa so fun eni pe ti o ko ba ni Christ ninu aye re ti a ba sa ko jo popo aye re a da bi ibanu ja ta ko sinu apo But when you come into communion with Christ union with Christ I am crucified with Christ Nevertheless, this is the time I am really living the better life. So, but you bawa wonu isepo, asepo isoka kwe lu Christi, ati kame ma gbele bu kwe lu Christi. Ni se se yio sugba mo wa wa laye. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Si be ki se me ma sugba Christi wa laye ni no. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. We were to most of our life in Nuara, more our life in Nui that God more long run. Any to offer me, to see if you want to carry out for me. That's why I told you the moment you manifest faith in Christ, and you say, I surrender to Christ. I give myself to Christ. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I turn away from my way of sin and I turn to the way of the Lord. I receive the salvation of the Lord and His forgiveness. That is the beginning of a better life in your existence. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. But when I come to Christ, I realize that you will never come to shame. When you believe in the Lord, you never come to shame. In Romans chapter 9, verse 33. 
ni ogbon romans chapter 9 verse 33 ro mo ri kesan ese keta le ni ogbon as it is written behold i lay in zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed gaga bi ati po pe ki esi mo gbe okuta ikose ati apata idigbo lukale ni si oni eni keni ti o ba si gba gbo oju ki yo ti shall not be ashamed oju ki yo ti whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed eni keni ti o ba gba gbo oju ki yo ti look around you iwo wo yi ka and you will see that the rich men of past generations and of past years are ashamed today it was is a case pe awon loro igba ni ti an koja ni iran kan ni igba kan won di eni egan ni susun yi the senior prefects when we were at school who were rejoicing and holding the whip and uh, being aggressive and they are the lord of the whole school look at you today a lot of them now they are ashamed awon adari okunrin ti an dari awon omo ilewe ni ilewe ni igba ni ti a jo wole wode ti nu an lo agara lori awon elegbe won yoku to ba wo igba aye won lodi oyin oponu won ni igba aye won ku fun egan look at the great Great men of the past weeks, of past months, and past years. What is happening to them today? They are regretting today. They are still they are ashamed even now. Iwo wa awon lokiki aye ni nkan bi ose die ese yin osu die ese yin tabi awon odun die ese yin ki lo nse le si won nisin yin won ti en ka ba mo fun to wa la ye lodi o You see if you don't have Christ I I'm telling you you will come to shame. Ori mo so fun e ti o ko ba ni Christi oju yo ti o. You think you have money. Oropo lowo. You think you have popularity. Oropo gbajumo. It is coming when you will discover that your bed is shorter than you can lie upon. Ojo kan bo ti wa sakiesi pe akete re kuruju nto le nara re lo ni lo people that believe on Christ will never be ashamed kiki awon ti a si gba Kristi bo nikan ni oju ki yo ti if you believe on the lord jesus christ today ti wo ba gba jesu christi oluwa gbo loni in the day of temptation ni ojo idan wo in the day of trial ni ojo wahala in the day of tribulation ni ojo la sigo in the day of affliction lo ojo ikanju in the day of adversity ni ojo wahala in the day of darkness ni ojo okoko in the day of disappointment ni ojo ijakule in the day when friends become enemies ni ojo ta won re dota you believe on the lord jesus christ today ti wo ba le gba jesus christ oluwa gbo loni the day when sunshine will pass over and then darkness will come ni ojo ti oro yo re koja lo ti okoko yo si wole christ will stand by your side jesus yo duro ti christ will support you christ yo ti ole and at that time you will never be ashamed when the rich men of the world are getting ashamed ni gba na oju ko ni ti o ni gba ti awon olorun aye to ju o ma ti won if you will believe on the lord jesus christ today ti wo yo ba gba jesus christ oluwa gbo loni the day when things change in this world ni ni igba ni ojo tin kan yo yi pada ninu aye you will not be ashamed because the god of heaven will be supporting you oju oni ti o ni tori pe olorun orun yo ma ti o leyin on that is you will be the everlasting arms of the almighty god ni abe re ni owo agbara olorun alaye ye wa in psalm 84 verse 11 ninu orin dafidi ori kerin le ni ogorin ese ekokan la psalm 84 verse 11 orin dafidi ori kerin o le ni ogorin ese ekokan la the lord god is a sun and shield the lord will give grace and glory no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly nitori oluwa olorun li orun ati asa oluwa yo fun ni li ori ofe ati ogo ko si si ohun rere ti yo fa seyin lowo awon ti rin dede to begin to walk uprightly you need to be born again lati le ma rin rin ti o to lati da to bi you need to be saved o lati de ni igbara come to union with christ ko wa si iba se po pelu christ and believe on the lord jesus christ to take all your sins away ki o si gba jesus christ gbo ko le mu an gbo ese re lo allow the blood of jesus christ to cleanse you and wash you and purify your life ki o si pe aye be je jesus lati wi omo lati so aye re di otun let him raise you up from the spiritual lameness and give strength to your to walk uprightly in the king's highway je ki o gbe odide ninu iyaro ti emi ki o si fi oku fun ese re ki o le rin ni okoko na ti obo run and then after that no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly lati igba na lo ati ni lati gogo igba na lo ko si ohun rere ti a fa seyin fun awon ti rin dede healing that good thing he will give you for say iwo san fun ohun rere yi yo bi fun e ti o ba sai san deliverance from dark paths of darkness that's a good thing he will give unto you if you pray the moment you are calling it will answer you the moment you say my father my god look at my condition he will say yes here am i my child no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly look at verse 12 oh lord of hosts blessed is the man that trusted 
trust in thee. Miserable will that man be that trusts in money. Miserable and happy life will be that one that depends upon man. But O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that trusted in thee. The Lord is calling upon you today to come and enjoy the better life. Because there is a provision of a better life for everyone that trusts in Christ. Whatever you need today, think about this God we're talking about. The creator of heaven and earth, the repairer of broken down lives, the rebuilder of battered lives. Why don't you come to trust in Him? Are you sick? The one that can even raise you if you are dead. Are you poor? The, pro the provider, the God of all sufficient. Are enemies running after your life? Come under the banner of the great conqueror, the Lord Jesus Christ, that conquered the devil and all messengers of the devil. Are you looking for a good life? A happy life. Are you looking for things that will enrich your life and make you really happy in life? There is no way you can get what you are looking for without coming into Christ. Blessed is the man that has his trust in the Lord. Why don't you rise up upon your feet and say, Lord, today I'm coming into union with Christ. Today I'm coming into union with the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. If you have been living a miserable life, an unhappy life, a wretched life, Christ is the answer. Is the one that will forgive. Is the one that will cleanse you with his blood. Talk to the Lord in prayer. I say, Lord Jesus, I surrender all my life unto you. My life is broken down. Take it and build it up. My life is miserable and shattered and battered. Take it up and repair everything that is wrong. My conscience is feeling guilty and condemned because of my evil way. Take up my conscience, take up my heart, cleanse me, forgive me, and give me the peace of God. I have been disappointed life. I've been trusting in myself and trusting in other men from the beginning of my life. Men have made my life miserable. Here am I now, I come to trust in the Almighty God. Pray unto the Lord today. And come into relationship and union with Christ. Your life will be better. When you come into Christ, your life will be better. You will enjoy the present life. You will enjoy when you get to heaven. It Eternally with God. If you are sick, He will heal you too. If you are oppressed, He can deliver you. No good thing will He withhold from them that walk uprightly, those who are trusting His name. Pray and settle every issue of the Lord before you go tonight. And the goodness of the Lord and the Lord Himself will be in your life and make your life better, holier, and happier. I believe you have been blessed. Don't let this message die. Listen to it again and pass it to others. You can get more from God at the Deeper Life Bible Church. Our headquarters is Deeper Life Bible Church, Bagada, Lagos, Nigeria. Blessed are your ears for hearing these things. 
will meet in heaven if you do them.